Good morning, guys. Hi, guys. So this video comes to you uh, several, several weeks late. There have been some really sad videos recently where Corrine's like, I'm the only one left. Corrine, you're the last dinosaur. No. Uh, no, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I've had a rather extensive list of things that I am late on. In fact, it is Jesse's super late list. Ha ha ha. Yes. But this is exciting. It means I get to cross something off the super late list. That something is tea time in dorm rooms. Oh yes. Checked. Life has been super, super busy here. I got out of my tech week for my show, admittedly, last week. What? Ha ha. I have not had a week between in which to make videos and catch up on my homework and clean my floor. Hmm, hmm, hmm. No, none of those things happened. Okay, homework happened. Anyways, I had an oral presentation today in focus, and um, normally those are like half an hour, and I sat at the front of the room for the entire hour and a half. Didn't realize how long I'd been there until... People started packing up their things, so ha ha ha. Apparently I had a lot of things to say. I was not aware. Anywho, uh, I had my meeting with Ian Killen today to talk about my future. Bum, bum, bum. By my future, I mean next, next semester. Those classes in that semester. Um, which should be exciting. I will probably update you guys on that a little bit later when I'm really certain about them, but right now it's pretty much Anthro, English, and Gaelic is all I'm doing. Things have been fairly quiet here. Um, it's been such a long day. Oh my lord, it's been so long. Um, but anyways, I've been having really bad like back and chest pain, so <laughs> doctors are like, well, you did something. I don't know what to tell you what it was you did, but you did, you did something, my friend. So I did something. Uh, but I've been taking, I got, I got really strong painkillers, and I am solving that problem. It's a glorious, glorious, ha. Anywho, uh, tomorrow, my math and music class was canceled, so I'm spending all day at the zoo. So next week, expect a great, fabulous, wonderful video from the zoo, because I am going to be taking footage. I maybe, maybe I'll tell you guys all about our four wild asses and five gravy zebras. Because, you know, who knows all their names and can tell them apart? This kid. Mm-hmm. No one's surprised by that. Past weekend, my friends and I went to the mall. Um, and we were in Forever 21 because Forever 21 is, you know, in the college budget. Uh, and one of the things I noticed that apparently Forever 21 is trying to make a trend are cropped button-downs. Like they are button-downs, full-length, like, sleeved button-downs, like sleeves to your wrists, like normal sleeves. Um, that stop, like, above your belly button. And I just, I'm really trying so hard to understand the, like, situation in which they would be useful. Like, when you want to go formal, so you have your collar and your buttons, but not really. You still want everyone to know that you have a stomach and you're willing to share it with the world. And that's when you go for the cropped button down. So for... Thank you, Forever 21, for filling that need. I didn't know I had it, but now, now I am fully aware. Mm-hmm. I finally joined the Hunger Games party. I bought it on Saturday. I finished it in like an hour or two, I think. Um, no, I liked it. I, I don't know. I guess I was really determined to not like the Hunger Games. I don't know why. I've never read any of them, and a lot of people I'm very fond of seem to really like them. Um, but... Yeah, they were fine. They kind of reminded me of um, a Scott Westerfeld series that I read when I was in like 10th grade or so uh, called Ugly's Pretties. Well, but yeah, no, I think maybe it's because they're both dystopian, dystopian universes that are like in the future, but also sort of weirdly in the past, because even though like Katniss and all of everyone in that book is supposed to be existing, like, I don't know how far in the future, but in the future, they also have a lot of like... I mean, the kid hunts with a bow and arrow, like, there are some very strong remnants of the past going on there. Uh, I recently finished the Series 2 finale of Sherlock. It was horrible. And by horrible, I mean one of the greatest, like, television episodes I've ever seen in my life. But horribly heartbreaking and tragic. 
So uh, everyone should go watch Sherlock. Literally everyone I know should go watch Sherlock right now. I don't care if you have homework or you're reading The Hunger Games. I don't really care. You should go watch Sherlock is the moral here. Sorry about my laziness in posting. I really am. I've dropped the ball on a lot of things this semester, I feel like. Um, I feel like I have a lot of people to email and keep up with and, like, update on my life and just things that I haven't been doing and I should be doing. So videos are one of those things, one of the things I intend to fix because I've been really, really bad at staying on top of that. Um, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, I know I'm not alone, but I am still sorry. Three weeks, I will have my last day of classes. And uh, that means about a month and I'm home. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this semester is almost over. Can anyone else not like be totally stunned that we're going to be sophomores like really soon? Because it baffles me. Baffles me. Corinne especially. Corinne, aren't you out of school in like two weeks? Something crazy? Crazy kid? You? Okay, uh, I love you guys. I have to edit this and get that madness done. And then I need to pack because tomorrow I'm going to the zoo. Ooh. Yay. Bye. And I was prepared and made this video ahead of time.